Amid an ongoing onslaught by the opposition on the credibility of the Independent Electoral Boundaries Commission, as well as calls for the removal of the commissioners, Commission Chief Executive Ezra Chiloba and Vice Chairperson Mahiri Zaja today appeared before the National Assembly Justice and Legal Affairs Committee to respond to concerns on the procurement of the BVR kits used in the last general election, as well as deliberate on the budget allocation. Chair, we do not agree with that report. A substantial part of the report has a lot of misrepresentations and Chair, we would want to request uh, the indulgence of the committee. Committee Chairperson Samuel Chipkonga was however reluctant to engage the two, saying the chairperson is a cousin, Commissioners Thomas Letangule and Mohamed Alawi should be present as they were adversely mentioned in a report on the same. That you actually have a problem. Uh, and possibly this is a committee which can order for a lifestyle audit. We need to be The whole commission needs to be here so that some of those issues touching on individuals touching on specific issues can be addressed in a more uh, organized way. The committee has now ordered the three to appear together with the rest on Tuesday next week to account on how funds allocated to the commission were spent. The issue that is important to me there, there for chair is whether we can deal with this matter being pertinent and go to the agenda we are dealing with. It being a matter targeting particular individual commissioners Absent those commissioners. The commission is under intense pressure to leave office and pave way for the recruitment of new commissioners, even as leaders differ on the process of removing them. As Jubilee, we are ready to look at IBC, its structure, its reforms, its preparedness for the next general election within the framework provided for by the law. Church leaders under the Evangelical Alliance of Kenya have called for dialogue on the matter to end the umpers. Ask the leaders of God and Jubilee to sit down, negotiate and end this crisis. As the EAK, we hereby offer ourselves to be mediators. They say politicians must desist from making inciting utterances ahead of the 2017 general elections. Wali ambao wanazungumza, wachunge sana maneno wanayo zungumza. Kwa sababu unapo zungumza, hayo maneno yanaweza kulete amani ama yanaweza kuharibu nchi. Just yesterday, Deputy President William Ruto said the government was willing to engage the opposition on the matter and agree on the way forward.